Hey, yeah, it's Mark Henry, and I am um, hosting this week's Thursday Flicks at the Quillery. Uh, it, and it seems like it's we're going to be talking about horror movies. Who knew? I mean, I, I love me some horror movies. And particularly Italian horror movies from the 70s. And I don't know that anyone else... I don't really know a lot of people that love them. Um, actually, I was just watching Leah Habel's... Um, vlog series about zombie films and I noticed that she has a distaste for Lucio Fulci and I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe it's a, maybe it's generational. I don't know. But I thought I'd shout her out because she shouted me out in one of them. Um, anyway, the, the movie that you need to watch the trailer for today is called Suspiria and um, it's a Dario Argento movie. It was done in 1979 or 8 or sometime. I'm I, I'm unclear on the facts because I'm not bothering to look them up. I just know that I love Suspiria. It's in my top ten horror movies of all time, and I watch it. Uh, I watch it a lot, actually, over and over, but but with big gaps in between. Um, I can't watch anything too close together because I, I I need to forget what I've seen a little bit so that I can have some surprises. Um, but go ahead and watch the um, the trailer for it, and I'll be right back. Oh, you're pausing, right? Pause me, watch the trailer, and come back. Okay, well, I'm assuming you saw it. Um, some of the things that you probably noticed from it is it's very atmospheric. Um, there was a, a movement in Italian horror cinema called Giallo. I was really, and I'm really fascinated with Giallo. In fact, I, I named one of the characters in my... Um, in my books, the actually the second and third book in my Amanda Farrell series, Giala, who is a um, an, an emaciated Italian model, and she's also a zombie, and um, she gets very little, very little airtime in the book. So, so don't don't bother to look her up. I think she's she's probably got she's probably got maybe four sentences devoted to her total in the whole series, but but she was kind of important to me because I was like, oh yeah. You know, I love this stuff. G Giallo is a very, okay, so it's a very atmospheric concept. They, um, Fulci and Ar um, Argento were very influenced by a director named Mario Bava, who um, started off directing films, uh, it was, I believe it was in the 40s. They were, they were all black and white. Um, but in the 50s, late 50s, he, or early 60s, of course, remember, I'm not researching, so I'm pulling these numbers out of my ass. You might want to look them up. Wikipedia them. Actually, what I'm doing right here is basically a Wikipedia entry because I'm not, I'm not any, I'm not doing any sort of research. So, um, what Bava did was a movie called Black Sunday, and in that, although it is a black and white movie, um, he cast Barbara Steele, who became a very big sort of horror movie actress, sort of a B movie actress during that time. And there's a scene in that where I don't know if you know what an Iron Maiden is, but it's a torture device that when when shut, it's like a body size. When shut, it has spikes on the interiors of the doors and the back, and when it closes, it compresses the body so that the spikes enter through all, all these different places. Well, they just used the mask for Black Sunday, and they hammered it onto Barbara Steele's head, and each time they hammered it, it went through her eyes and everywhere. It was very, very gory for the time frame. And um, a gore became a really big element of Giallo. In fact, Mario Bava did a movie called Bay of Blood. It has many names. All of these Italian movies have many names because they, they seem to have changed their name every single country where they were released. But um, Bay of Blood heavily influenced Friday the 13th. Some of the, um, some of the death scenes in Friday the 13th are identical to the ones from Bay of Blood, which was filmed in the 60s or early 70s or sometime way before Friday the 13th. Anyway, speaking of violent death scenes, uh, in Suspiria, which is the trailer you just watched, the Mario Bava has created one of the most amazing death scenes anyone has ever seen. It's not, it's not that it's going to, to um, horrify you, although it may. Um, it's not that it's particularly gory, but it, it's done in such a way that, um, well, go ahead and watch the clip, and then we'll talk about what Argento did. Go ahead. Go ahead and watch it. Pause me and watch it. All right, you're back. 
Okay, so what you saw in there was a mix of three things. Number one, Argento um, worked with a band called Goblin. And Goblin is, uh, I don't even know if they did anything besides Dario Argento movies. But what they, they, their music tends to be a combination of screams that they then alter to make sound like crazy shit. There's, a, I believe, a theremin component, which is that, that air uh, harpsichord. I don't know what the hell it is. Um, and just sort of chaotic um, instrumentation and... and um, anyway, it's chaos. And so when you put that up against the, the atmosphere that, that Argento uses, which is very much, um, I think he used, uh, Aubrey Beardsley, who's a, who's a, um, art deco painter, um, as a palette to, to do the doors. The doors are all these weird arches and everything is made to, the, the wallpaper is always crazy, um, patterns. Everything was geared towards unsettling the viewer. And so even that moment where you see the killer's eyes reflected, which seems very hokey, is built in there to, to, to be sort of levity. He, I mean, Argento knows that that wasn't going to be like, ah, you know, there, there's, a, there's a scary you know, monster outside. Everyone knew there was a monster outside. You could see the shape of the head. He knows that you're going to say it's hokey because when the... When the um, when the stabbing starts, that becomes even more upsetting, unsettling. But when the real thing that happens is is this the moment that she goes through the the glass ceiling, uh, you know, and, and not I don't believe metaphorically actually, because it, that probably isn't a metaphor in Italy. But um, when she goes through the glass ceiling and and hangs herself, it's like it's so over the top. You've gone through so much in that death scene. That it's like you can't believe this shit has happened, and then we pan down, and what do we have? We have the the person who was trying to save her life has also been killed. Um, it was genius. It's genius. It, later, the whole movie kind of has those moments where um, where he tops himself, and, and uh, you know what? I, I can watch it over and over again. I, I think I watch it probably every five or six years. I watch um, rewatch Dario Argento movies, and. With Suspiria, there is a scene later on where a secondary character is targeted by the killer who obviously has a supernatural component because that was not a first floor apartment, obviously, that he was standing outside of. Um, but he, he targets this girl and um, you get to see all of the weird kind of internal um, elements of this, this school where this girl has been taken away to where, you know, which is totally a um totally an overused sort of a a device in horror films is that you know a girl young girl goes away to private school there are horrible things happen there she can't go back I mean, it's been done and done and done in fiction as well as in films and um but this moment there's a moment with, with this scene where you think that you know exactly what's going to happen and then the opposite happens the absolute opposite happens, and you're shocked. And I, you know what? I'm shocked every single time I see it. Every time, it drives me nuts. And and my wife Caroline's the same way. I, I'm like, how can we not remember that that happened? It's so bizarre. Anyway, I mean, it's not the movie's not going to shock you, but it is unsettling on um, on different levels. I think Giallo is is always unsettling on different levels, just because of the the elements that are done, the atmospherics. Um, and the way that the Italian directors look at things. And Argento is a master, and you should be watching Suspiria. And watch it and come back and leave comments. Leave lots of comments. Have you seen Suspiria? Let's talk about it. That's it. <laughs>